Dark Mirror, Chapter 1. Plunging through the void between dimensions, Takanuva, Toa of Light, could hardly believe what had happened to him in the last day. While patrolling the shores of Metronui, he had been attacked by a creature he later learned was a shadow leech and barely survived. When he awoke, he discovered that his light had been partially drained, leaving him with the ability to fire light from his left hand and shadow from his right. His rescuers turned out to be members of a secret organization called the Order of Matanui, who tasked him with a vital mission. He was to bring important information to the Toa Nuva and Cardanui, and if he failed, the six Toa were surely doomed. The fastest way to get him there was using a, the power of a mask of dimensional gates worn by reformed member Brutaka, but the mask was ever so slightly damaged and the ride had already been a rough one. A circle of light opened ahead of him. He plunged through it, hoping he had reached Cardanui in time. Instead, he landed flat on his mask in the familiar surroundings of the city of Metronui. Or was it familiar? The city was intact and beautiful as it had been when he left, but something was odd. There were statues of Toa everywhere. Tahu, Gali, and the others, but not in their Nuva forms, as they had been before they transformed. There were other statues, too, of Toa Takanuva did not recognize, and looming over them all was a massive sculpture of a Kanohi mask the mask of intangibility. How long have I been gone, wondered Takanuva, and who decided to redecorate? He spotted a Matoran he knew well, Kapura, scurrying quickly through the street. Takanuva stepped in front of him and said, wait, friend, I don't think I've ever seen you run before. What's the hurry? Kapura looked up at him. There was shock and fear in the Matoran's eyes, but no recognition. Forgive me, Great Toa, he said so fast the words tumbled over themselves. Was I not running fast enough? I promise I will try to do better. Kapura, it's me. It's Takanuva. What's come over you? Nothing, nothing, insisted Kapura. All is well, Great Toa, for how could it be anything else with such wise and benevolent leaders? All right, I've had about enough of this, said Takanuva. Where's Taragavakama? Where are the Toamari? I don't know who you're talking about, insisted Kapura. Let me pass, please, before... The temperature suddenly dropped all around. The next moment, Kapura was locked in a foot-thick shell of ice from his neck down. The Matoran cried out from the intense cold. Takanuva looked up, only to see Tahu and Kopaka standing nearby, frost still drifting from the sword of the Toa of Ice. Tahu, Kopaka, thank the great beings you're here, said Takanuva. Something's wrong with Kapura, maybe with the entire city. The only thing wrong here, stranger, is you, said Tahu. Who are you? Why are you here? Where is your identity tablet? I, I'm Takanuva. I live here. You know me, and I don't know what an, an identity tablet is. Kapaka raised his sword and unleashed a hail of ice at the shocked Takanuva, knocking the Toa of Light to the ground. Standing over him, Kapaka held the point of his sword to Takanuva's neck. Well, Takanuva, if that is your name, you are now a prisoner of the Toa Empire against which you have committed an act of war. To be continued.